Hey guys, it's Nikki. Today I'm making another drink, but it's necessary because Monday is the premiere of The Bachelor with Ben H. And I know you're all going to be so depressed that you're not one of the girls stepping out of that limo. So if you drink, I know you're doing it for the right reasons. And these will be great for your bachelor viewing party. Red roses are the epitome of The Bachelor. So this drink I'm about to show you is essentially a liquid rose. Nikki, will you accept this rose? Of course. Thank you. Listen guys, if you don't like my jokes, it doesn't matter because I'm not here to make friends. Okay, I'm done. Since there will be 28 girls stepping out of the limo to meet Ben, I have included 28 ingredients. Just kidding, there's only three. You will need a bottle of champagne, the red version of Vinique liqueur, and champagne glasses with pretty bendy vines on the stem. Making this drink is a lot like falling in love, you know? The more time and the more effort you put into making it right, the better it's going to turn out. Okay, so you wanna decorate your champagne glasses first. I just used the stems of those cheap roses that you can buy at the dollar store. They have a metal stick in them so you can just wrap them right around the glass. You can also use a paper clip and glue the leaves to that and swirl it around, or a pipe cleaner. I think this is the easiest and it looks pretty good. Then for the drink, I like to do half champagne, half vanique. And the vanique is really cool because it shimmers, making it look like one of those enchanted roses from Beauty and the Beast. Except Ben H is not a beast. It's not a beast. Now obviously the more vanique you use, the more red it's going to be, so you can decide what proportions you wanna do. Oh, they're so pretty. I will accept them all. Come on, it's a spitting image. As you can see, these are super easy to make, but I really do believe in this process, and I'm confident that by the end of this, you'll find your true love. I definitely see my wife in this room. Now, once the show starts, take a sip every single time that Chris Harrison dings his glass, every time a girl freaks out for not getting any alone time, and whenever they show a clip of Ben with his shirt off but don't take a sip until that clip ends because you really don't want to miss that. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have fun watching the premiere. And Ben H, if you're out there, if things don't work out, I'm here for you. I can skydive with you or jump off boats or pretend to be out to dinner but never eat the food. Don't forget to subscribe to Swear I'll Start Baking again. See you guys next time.